What should I do if I think I've been exposed? Part of MI Milgard's responsibility as we continue to operate as an essential business is to ensure that we are doing our part to prevent the spread of the COVID-19 virus. We have been following the guidance of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, the World Health Organization, WHO, and the various state departments of public health to ensure our teams are meeting or exceeding the latest recommendations outlined by the health and safety experts. This training is intended to help each team member within the MI Milgard organization understand what to do if they think they have been exposed to the COVID-19 virus, as well as to provide guidance on how to avoid coming into contact with the COVID-19 virus. The first column is the easiest one to understand. I have COVID-19. This column addresses what you should do if you have COVID-19. If you have COVID-19, you should self-isolate for 14 days. Self-isolation means that you are sick and you are isolating yourself from others to prevent the spread of the COVID-19 virus. You should not come to work. You should avoid public places. This one is pretty easy because it's hard to imagine anyone would, would come to work if they knew they had COVID-19. If you have COVID-19 per the CDC guidelines, you can return to work after you receive two confirmed negative COVID-19 tests or your symptoms have improved and you have no fever for 72 hours and it has been at least seven days since your symptoms began. Your HR business partner will stay in communication with you and will help you determine when you can safely return. The second column is also pretty easy to understand. This column addresses what you should do if you have symptoms that are common to COVID-19. Where this scenario gets tricky is that we have had team members ignore symptoms and come to work anyway. To be clear, symptoms that are common to COVID-19 include coughing, fever, shortness of breath. If you have symptoms that are common to COVID-19, you should self-isolate for 14 days. Self-isolation means that you are sick and you are isolating yourself from others to prevent the spread of the COVID-19 virus. You should not come to work. You should avoid public places. There have been several examples of employees that came to work thinking they had the flu, a cold, or an allergy and did not realize that they have COVID-19. If you have symptoms that are common to COVID-19, you need to self-isolate. If you have symptoms common to COVID-19 per the CDC guidelines, you can return to work after 14 days if symptoms subside or your symptoms have improved and you have had no fever for 72 hours and it has been at least seven days since your symptoms began. Your HR business partner will stay in communication with you and will help you determine when you can safely return. The third column is a little more complex. This column addresses what you should do if you have been in close contact with someone that has COVID-19 or that has symptoms that are common to COVID-19. It is important to understand what close contact means. Visiting someone in a hospital or nursing home that is sick is considered close contact. Having a family member or roommate that lives with you that is sick is considered close contact. Having a carpool relationship that is sick is considered close contact. Spending more than 15 minutes with someone that is sick in any setting is considered close contact. 
if you have been in close contact to someone that has COVID-19 or that has symptoms that are common to COVID-19, you should self-quarantine for 14 days. Self-quarantine means that you are not sick, but that you are aware that you have been exposed and that you are quarantining yourself from others to prevent the spread of the COVID-19 virus in case you have it and don't realize it yet. You should not come to work. You should avoid public places. If you have been in close contact to someone that has COVID-19 or that has symptoms that are common to COVID-19, you need to self-quarantine. If you have been in close contact to someone that has COVID-19 or that has symptoms common to COVID-19, per CDC guidelines, you can return to work after 14 days if no symptoms develop or your symptoms have improved and you have had no fever for 72 hours and it has been at least seven days since your symptoms began. Your HR business partner will stay in communication with you and will help you determine when you can safely return. The fourth column is likely the hardest one to understand. This column addresses what you should do if someone you have had close contact with in the past 48 hours notifies you that they started having symptoms common to COVID-19, but appeared to be healthy when you were with them. The CDC has recently recognized that, it, that the COVID-19 virus can be passed during person-to-person -person close contact as much as 48 hours before someone shows symptoms. This is a good reminder on why it is important to practice social distancing, even around people that may not appear to be sick. If someone you have had close contact with develops symptoms that are common to COVID-19 within 48 hours of when you last spent time with them, the CDC says you should respond according to whether or not you develop symptoms. If no symptoms develop, you may remain at work and self-monitor yourself for 72 hours. Self-monitoring means that you are diligently checking yourself for symptoms. You must take your temperature every day. The CDC also requires the company to check your temperature every day and go through a self-checker. You must wear a face mask at all times. If someone you have had close contact with develops symptoms that are common to COVID-19 within 48 hours, when you last spent time with them, the CD says the CDC says you should respond according to whether or not you develop symptoms. If symptoms develop, you must self-isolate for 14 days. Self-isolation means that you are sick and you are isolating yourself from others to prevent the spread of the COVID-19 virus. You should not come to work. You should avoid public places. The fifth column will only apply if you haven't been following proper social distancing guidelines. This column addresses what you should do if you come into contact with someone that has been in close contact with someone that has tested positive for COVID-19. In this case, you are one step removed from direct contact with someone that has had COVID-19, but you still have some risk. If you have not been properly following social distancing guidelines and came into contact with someone that has had close contact with someone that has COVID-19, you should self-quarantine for 72 hours. Self-quarantine means that you are not sick, but that you are aware you have been exposed and that you are quarantining yourself from others to prevent the spread of COVID-19 virus in case you have it and don't realize it yet. 
you should diligently check yourself for symptoms daily. You should not come to work. You should avoid public places. If you have not been properly following social distance guidelines and came into contact with someone that has had close contact with someone that has COVID-19, per the CDC guidelines, you can return to work after 72 hours if no symptoms develop. If symptoms develop, you can return to work after your symptoms have improved and you have had no fever for 72 hours and it has been at least seven days since your symptoms began. Your HR business partner will stay in communication with you and will help you determine when you can safely return. The sixth column is one that we should all strive to be in. This column addresses your risk of developing COVID-19 if you have been properly maintaining social distancing guidelines and come into contact with someone that has potentially been exposed to COVID-19. If you have been properly following social distancing guidelines, even if you come in contact with someone that potentially has COVID-19 virus, you have a very low risk. Maintain current protocol diligence. Great job. With the right precautions, we can all do our part to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. By following social distance practices, enhance cleaning guidelines and protocols for responding to exposures to COVID-19, we can all ensure that MI Milgard remains free of COVID-19. Thank you.